Oh boy, I didn't think I would be making a video on this topic. This situation has gotten so bad to the point where I just need to make a video because I'm just deeply worried about this. Also, I'll explain the new look another time, so let's just get into the topic at hand. So, most of my cartoon fans probably have already heard about the infamous Warner Bros. Discovery merger, and how it was an awful idea for this to happen, as it not only affects the brands they're known for, but also greatly diminishes their presence. All for Discovery Plus. I'm gonna be honest, does anybody even watch Discovery Plus? I didn't even mention it in my ranking streaming services video. And do you wanna know why? Well, it's because Discovery Plus only has these eight channels to stream. There are only two of these eight channels I would even watch. Animal Planet and Discovery. Discovery Family. Everything else? <sighs> it's just not geared toward my taste. Neither are a lot of people's tastes. And you wonder why the Warner Bros. Discovery merger would lead to HBO Max axing 68 movies and TV shows from their streaming service, including Cartoon Network originals like OKKO. OK the Fungies, Uncle Grandpa, although with that, the crossover they did with Steven Universe is still available to stream, Victor and Valentino, and especially Mau Mau and Infinity Train. I say those two especially because they're notable examples of this disaster, and everything and anything relating to both properties are being removed and wiped from the internet, as if Cartoon Network forgot they've ever existed. Sad thing with Malmo though is that season 2 was announced when season 1 began airing. And Cartoon Network just did nothing with it and cancelled it all of a sudden. Also, I'm still in shock about the surprise cancellations of Scoob 2 Holiday Haunt and the Batgirl movie as well as nearly 200 episodes of classic Sesame Street being removed from HBO Max, along with the other Cartoon Network shows I mentioned. But... Why is Warner Bros. Discovery doing this? Simple and awful answer. A freaking tax write-off. For money for Discovery Plus. That's right, a tax write-off, so that Discovery Plus can have enough money to kill off HBO Max and greatly diminish the presence of their brands and TV channels. And unfortunately, there is nothing we can do. Everything is just gone now. YouTuber Veilskabum94 called this catastrophe the Great Cartoon Network Purge. And you know what? That title sums up this merger in a nutshell. It's just an excuse for Discovery to make more money with a company that they're pretty much taking over. And I really, really, really hope things get back to normal eventually. i just so mad at this merger right now and the fact that it's killing off one of my favorite streaming services of all time. Just angers me even more, and it's my hope that HBO Max and Cartoon Network can recover from it. I don't know what's going to happen next, but I really hope everybody at Cartoon Network is doing okay, because this is really disheartening, even for Cartoon Network's 30th birthday. But regardless, I hope things get settled and that we can find a place to stream our favorite cartoons again. Because this merger is tearing Cartoon Network apart for scraps. And I'm worried Cartoon Network may not last long because of this situation. Let's pray that cartoons like Mau Mau and Infinity Train get more respect than what they're getting right now. 
to quote Frank Welker on an episode of Scooby-Doo and Guess Who? Cartoons are serious business. That is something that we as a society need to accept. But the entertainment industry won't see that, will they? No, they're just going to use shows like Boss Baby and Coco Melon as poor examples. Probably because both shows have babies in it. And I guess to them, if your show has an infant in it, then the show itself is an example of the fact that animation is for kids. When it shouldn't be anyway. That should be it for this video. I just want to talk about a topic that needed to be discussed and give my own perspective on the situation. So if this video felt a little more serious, I do apologize for that. But anyways, I hope you guys liked the new look. My next video will be the last video to ever use my old look. Everything else onward will be using the new look. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.